have a little Uber back in Istanbul. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but even though I am a full-time traveler, I cannot travel internationally in a free way, let's just put it that way. So I'm not from the US, I have a green card, but I right now I don't have a physical green card, and what I use instead of that is the stamp that I get on my passport that just expired, and I need to get it renewed, and that's why we're getting to Chicago tomorrow, so we can continue with Ways of the World. Anything can happen here, so... Fingers crossed. Ladies and gentlemen, American Airlines would like to welcome you to Chicago here. I'm almost there. Almost time for my appointment. I'm very nervous because basically my fate is in this person's hands. If I don't get this, we don't really have a plan B because traveling in the US, it's not cheap. And I need this to be able to leave the country. So yes, I'm nervous. Almost there, I have to put my phone away and I'll let you know how it goes when I leave. That was not as I expected. However, I think it's gonna be fine. Now I need to go find Jay who's in a coffee shop nearby, but it's pouring. So I'll let you know in a second. I see a smiley face. Well, it's not what we thought. What do you mean? I didn't get it for a whole year. Okay. I got it for six months. Okay. So we can travel. But yeah. This changes things a little bit, but yeah, at least we can travel for now. We'll cross the bridge when we get there. Six months? Six months. <laughs> what is that? End of November? Yeah. yeah. We'll be home for Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> but now we have tickets to buy because we can't travel for now. So let's buy some tickets. We're going to Albania. We're going to Albania and Turkey. This is like a flashback to our old lives on the Brown Line train, middle of Chicago. This is where we lived for five years, we're five, six, where we met, where we engaged. We got married, all in Chicago. All these memories. A lifetime ago. Are you ready? I am ready. I was trying not to think about the chance that you wouldn't get the stamp today, but in the back of my head, I was a little bit anxious because I really want us to go to Albania. But now it's happening and we have to book our flights and our hotel because obviously nothing is booked but we're leaving in four days so we have to start moving on that but i was also looking for hotels in tirana the capital of albania for the days that we arrive and everything is super expensive because there's a soccer match like right when we were planning on arriving so i was thinking what's kind of like in that area where we can hang out for a couple days that you know we can just kind of chill get our what bearings is it? Tell us. istanbul we're gonna go to istanbul for a couple days Yay! because we can, and we love Istanbul. There go my miles. <laughs> For now? It's Turkey, baby! Turkey Istanbul. the country! Turkey the country! <laughs> We're going back to Istanbul, and then Albania. We're hitting the road again.
Ladies and gentlemen and dear children, welcome to Istanbul Airport, meeting point of the world. I cannot believe we're in Istanbul. We just landed. I can't believe we're back. I'm just shocked. We bought everything like four days ago, so I still haven't processed, but in the plane, I was just thinking about all the things I'm excited to try. I can't wait to have chai and lavachun and pide and airan. See the mosque, see the people. Put kolonyaski on my hands, sim it. What else? The cats? You forgot the cats. The kitties. Oh my gosh. We're going to be here for five days and then we're off to Albania and we're going to make the best out of those five days. I'm so happy. Are you happy? I'm happy. We're back in Istanbul. That's crazy. That's great. Look at you frolic. We're going to find the Havash. We know exactly what to do. We should just stay in Turkey for another 90 days because we know exactly how to manage this country. Let's go downtown. We did it on the way to Istanbul. We're Turkish pros. Turkish pros. Smooth. That's your Turkish. I bet. <laughs> that means yes. There's a lovely market in front of our building, and they saw us waiting. They got chairs for us and chai. And they asked, Do you like turkey? Is it your first time here? This is why we like turkey. Oh, we love turkey. Turkish people are the best. The <laughs> chocolate. Iki chai. First Iki chai. This is crazy. It's been like a 24 hour travel day. Four days ago, we didn't even know that we would be able to come here. And now I'm like jet lagged and a little confused, but also very excited that we're in Istanbul for five days. It's been a good start. Now we have some Turkish food and then we say goodnight. <laughs> We missed you. <laughs> oh, I was jealous. Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. Uh, I really want some morning love. Good morning. It's been two days since we arrived in Istanbul. However, we have been super, super jet lagged, sleeping at all kinds of crazy hours in our apartment. However, this morning we forced ourselves out of bed to have some kind of Turkish breakfast. We just ordered venemen and goshleme. And we really wanted to try simit in a very specific way that someone recommended on our YouTube channel that we have not stopped thinking about. However, we're too late, but we're going to try that tomorrow. This is good. Actually, this stuff looks so good, but it is very good. The menemen. It's one of my personal favorites. So the plan for today is just to enjoy this delicious breakfast. And the day is beautiful. The weather is perfect. And we're just going to hang out in Istanbul, take you with us, so you can see why we love this city so much. Right. You try? You try. Uh -huh. uh, there are Great. Still got my Turkish. I'm learning more. I'm gonna be fluent in a couple of years, I think. <laughs> be a real Turk. More time. It's hot. We need to walk off for breakfast. 
this neighborhood that we're in is so cool. It's called Shihangir. We have never been here before and it's awesome, right? Yeah, it feels cool to discover new places even though we're familiar with Istanbul a little bit. We would definitely come back to this neighborhood. Yeah, it's awesome. it's, the city is so big and every time you come you can discover something new. But right now we're going somewhere very familiar. We're heading to the water, to Galata Bridge, to see the boats and the fishermen. Relax by the water, grab a this, coffee. All these iconic Istanbul things. Let's go. Squatty potties. <laughs> Is there gonna have squatty potties in Albania? Mm, I don't think so, but if they do have them, you'll know what to do. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Cheers, sleepy. I'm at the point in the day where I don't want coffee, but it's like I need coffee. I just really embraced the jet lag last night. Got like two hours of sleep. Pretty sleepy. <laughs> All caffeinated. Did it work? For now, yeah. It feels great. Let's go to our favorite bridge. For the scooters. So you feel like there's like way less fishermen? There are much, much less fishermen. Yeah, last we time. were here back in December, end of November. This whole thing was packed. You couldn't fit one more fisherman, and now there's not that many. So what happened? Are you from Istanbul? Do you know what happened to the fishermen? Did they get all the fish? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> I always want to move everywhere we go. Meat and potatoes. Ready for a picnic. We're in our old neighborhood. The old Borek shop. Borek. Borek shop. Feels like home. I guess this is kind of like home because we even went to the dentist here, so. Istanbul is home now. Istanbul is home now. Hi. <laughs> bon appétit! <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Time for our favorite Borek at one of our favorite spots in Istanbul in front of the Ataturk Bridge. Great spot for a picnic. Let's watch the water. Suleimania Mosque. It's so pretty. Beautiful. And we're we're hungry. So we're gonna dig into this I yummy Borek. Yeah, yeah, that was my bad. That's what happens on two hours of sleep. You make, make four decisions and you get two little bodek. It's 
so happy right now. The city is awesome. Feels good to be somewhere familiar that we already know that we love, that we don't have any rush to like see any sights. Not that we've seen everything here, but still it feels good to repeat places. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Do you have a favorite city that you know what we're talking about? That you have a spot that you go back to and you just like relive like all those feelings? Let us know in the comments. Maybe we'll go there. Maybe we'll love it as well, as much as you. Cheers. We're ending the perfect Istanbul day with a drink and with wet burgers. I couldn't resist it. We found the Ishlak burger. The wet burger. This is why we came back to Istanbul. <laughs> Are you ready? JK, yeah. We're back at the same place because I didn't want to risk it that I was like, I, did I like them last time because I was drunk? Am I going to like them this time? I feel like I should wear sunglasses this time because my eyes. <laughs> We're a little bit crazy last time I was here when I tried an Ishlak burger for the first time. Mm. Well, here we are again. It was a divine moment. <laughs> it was embarrassing. But I hope I like them as much as I did last time. <laughs> Show the eyes. <laughs> I want. Is it as good? It is as good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the best like burger ever, honestly. Congrats on this. Hit. This is delicious. I turn. Round two. <laughs> the Ishlak burger. The truth. It really is that good. So, our friend Orhan from YouTube, he recommended a while ago for us to try this and honestly we haven't stopped thinking about it ever since me at least he said not to buy simit from street vendors but instead go to a place called fitting which means bakery turkish bakery so we went and got fresh simit and he said to try it with kaimak which is turkish clotted cream and fresh honey so instead of buying it in the grocery store we went to this small shop where they have it fresh and we're gonna try it this already feels so different. I was like, where do like the vendors like get some of this it from the bakery as well? No, this already feels different. It's soft, it's warm, it's it looks delicious. <laughs> the moment of truth. This looks so good. I feel like this is gonna be like a reason to return to Turkey. You were right. This takes Simit to a whole new level for us. <laughs> Thank you, Orhan. This is delicious. Teşekkürler, Orhan. This is way better than street cart Simit. to you guys. I'm sad. I'm, it's always sad to leave Turkey, especially Istanbul, but it's time to move on. The next Harlow series is going to be great and I am excited for Albania. Adventures await us.
We're going to Albania. We just landed in Tirana, Albania, and we are so excited. We were just talking and it just feels like when we went to Turkey for the first time, we don't know what we're gonna find. We don't know anything, of, not much, at least about the food and the people, the history. So we are super pumped to show you all of that in the next few videos. But now we're gonna close it here because this video is super long. We're gonna wait for suitcases, go to Airbnb. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Leaving the airport, the first thing. KFC. I was not expecting that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Very on time. <laughs> okay. Thank you. We missed it by four minutes. Stupid luggage. No, we wait an hour. No, you want KFC? <laughs> <laughs> It's a fancy cave, see they have a upstairs patio, but no, that's not our style. Nice. Welcome to Albania. Welcome to Albania. How cute was that? She just set the table for us. She brought us Albanian budik, or budik, I don't know how they pronounce it here. We each got a bottle of buttermilk. And some cool water. What a welcome. What a welcome. Albania. Okay, now for reals. Now it's over. Bye. Peace out. <laughs>